My name is Mike Breck, and I am an agriculture teacher in Modesto City Schools. Within the seven main high schools in Modesto, agriculture programs house a variety of pathways that can be found at all or most of those sites. The pathways include agriculture business, agriculture mechanics, which includes small engines, agri-science, which includes vet science, animal science, and the ornamental horticulture pathway, which includes floral design. The mission of Our Culture Pathways is to give students the opportunity for premier leadership, personal growth, and career success. To accomplish this, all Our Culture Pathway courses operate under the same guidelines. We use a three-circle model that encompasses classroom and laboratory hands-on instruction, student participation in the National FFA organization, and student experience tracking through the Our Culture Experience Network, otherwise known as Student Hands-On hands-on projects. A unique opportunity in Modesto City Schools exists at Johansson High School as they also offer an agriculture academy. Other opportunities for students in Modesto Agriculture Pathways include current certifications, which are happening through the Safe Handling Animal Certification that all students do if they are going to be exhibiting livestock. We also have the Floral Certification that is recognized statewide, as well as a Welding Certification. Other certifications are being worked on collaboratively throughout the state of California by agriculture teachers and our state agriculture education staff in Sacramento. Our culture program pathways are a community effort. We have a strong foundation in an agriculture advisory representing every area within our pathways. We currently have students in internships at a variety of places in the local area. We have students that participate in activities at veterinary offices supporting their agri-science pathways. We have floral students that participate in activities and work in different floral related businesses in Modesto. We have students at some of our agriculture fabrication businesses such as Flory Industries, um, John Deere. And again, we work with Modesto Junior College to get our students to the next step and then have them participate in some of those if there is an age requirement. Many of the agriculture pathway advisory members serve in a variety of ways within our programs. They not only provide internships and mentorships for students, but they also serve as guest speakers. They serve as references for students working on reports. Our students conduct interviews um, with a lot of these folks that are always willing to help. Our advisory president is Kim Hernandez from Haley Farms. We use Modesto Irrigation District, which is very supportive of our programs in even land that we use for our school farm facilities. Every student enrolled in an agriculture pathway course in Modesto City Schools and across California and the nation is automatically a member of the National FFA organization. That organization offers students opportunity to demonstrate their skill and knowledge through career development events, team building events, leadership speaking events, and also is a guide to scholarships and college guidance. Our culture teachers are very passionate about what they do. They realize that not all learning takes place within the four walls of the classroom, and we must work with the community effort to provide our students those opportunities where they can have real life experiences in the field. The arts, media, and entertainment pathway provides students with industry standard tools and practices. This pathway focuses on digital literacy, communication skills, and a professional environment where students can be successful in higher learning or industry training. We offer classes in DSLR photography, video production, multimedia broadcasting, graphic design, 3D computer graphics and animation, and desktop publishing and photojournalism. Students can earn certifications in Adobe Photoshop, Adobe Premiere, Adobe Illustrator, and we're working on adding additional certifications in the near future. Our students also attend national workshops and conventions where we've won numerous awards in photography, design, and top honors in broadcast journalism. Our industry sector brings an enthusiasm for teaching the language of video, photography, animation, and written media, and we have a passion for helping students tell stories through the visual medium. Hi, I'm Rochelle Motes, and this is my second year in the Cinemagraphic Arts Pathway. I am super grateful to be a part of this course. Not only do I understand the film industry, but I also grew a deeper understanding for a lot of the movies that I loved growing up and the ones that continue to come out today. It is 
extremely, extremely interesting to learn about the procedures and tools that are used to make brilliant films. And I also really enjoy being a part of the class because I have gotten so much better at teamwork, leadership skills, just in general communication skills, um, because every single person matters on that team and every single part of the making of a project is crucial <laughs> to a good grade. And I, I'm really, I'm really glad to be part of the course. The Performing Arts Academy, better known as PAA at Modesto High School, is in the media arts and entertainment sector of career technical education. PAA students explore the entertainment industry using state-of-the-art equipment in our two theaters, sound recording studio, and video film production class. I am amazed at what our students achieve, but that's because they know they have the freedom to learn what they want. PAA students start with a strong foundation in theater arts, learning set building, lighting and sound design, costuming and special effects makeup like gore and fantasy. Some of our best days happen when the campus is filled with PAA students wearing gore makeup to class. It can be rather shocking, but it can be so much fun. Junior year, our students will explore music and dance, and by senior year, they are making films, learning photography, and animation. As they graduate, they will have explored many areas in the arts. Our goal is not to create an academy of performers, although we have many. It is to use the arts as a foundation of learning. We know that students who learn through artistic experiences excel in all parts of their education. We focus on hands-on learning and real-life experiences like field trips to live performances. Last year, we saw Hamilton in San Francisco. We visit the Monterey Bay Aquarium so students see biology close up. Some of our advanced students become OSHA trained working in height safety. Students experience behind the scenes tours and internships at the Gallo Center for the Arts. They work backstage in local theaters, visit colleges and trade schools like cosmetology and computer coding, all of which help students explore possible careers. Students enjoy bonding activities like movie nights, history dinner, and the favorite ice cream social. We work hard and we play hard. I am a teacher in the PAA, and I learned at a young age that passion changes lives. I've studied theater most of my life and believe that any day doing creative work is a good day. Being able to bring that passion to the classroom shows students that a job doesn't have to be work when you love it. If you ask my students, they would tell you, Ms. McHale loves what she does. The PAA is helping you prepare for a future that you will love. Come join us at the PAA. As part of the Building and Construction Trades Program, we have Construction Woodworking Technology 1 through 8 available to students. In the introductory wood construction course, students learn how to use portable and stationary woodworking equipment in a proper and safe manner, learn about wood properties, proper use of hand tools, and get into plans, blueprints, how to order material, work layout, and related occupational information is presented. It's a beginning course. In the advanced wood three through eight courses, students get into cabinet construction, 3D printing, CNC machining, using laser engravers, and advanced woodworking joinery and technology. And students are allowed to create more diverse and unique projects based on their skill set. In these courses, we have industry connections with local cabinet shops, local contractors, with local apprenticeships in the sheet metal, plumbing and pipe fitters, and carpenters. And we also work with military recruiters to help our students get good careers right out of high school. We try to prepare students for life after high school by focusing on critical thinking skills, problem solving, and for the competence to build, fix, and repair things based on the skills they've learned in classes here. There are great opportunities for students to enter careers right after high school without having to go to a four-year university. The Education and Human Development Academy is a program geared towards students who are interested in people professions. Generally, students in our academy enter industry sectors such as education, nursing, and community service industries like firefighting, law enforcement, and social services, to name a few. 
Our Academy is a California Partnership Academy, which is a three-year program, grades 10 through 12, structured as a school within a school, incorporating integrated academic and career technical education, business partnerships, mentoring, and internships. This school within a school format includes rigorous academics and career technical education with a career focus, a committed team of teachers, and active business and post-secondary partnerships. Other benefits of participation include experiences outside of the regular classroom through yearly field trips that enhance student learning, which otherwise would not be possible in a traditional school setting. Plus, students receive a sense of belonging to a family-like environment providing close bonds with teachers and classmates alike. In addition, they receive hands-on job skills through job shadow opportunities that are provided every year in the program. We have business and community partners like the Modesto Police and Fire Departments, Stanislaw County Coroner's Office, Modesto City and Empire School District, Children's Crisis Center, Love Modesto, Casa of Modesto, Modesto Junior College in CSU Stanislaw, Adrian's Beauty College, and various military recruiters. Traditionally, this academy has active involvement in FCCLA, Family, Careers, and Community Leaders of America. Students who participate in this organization focus on career and leadership development by participating as members and officers in competitive recognition events, leadership development activities, and community service projects. The California FCC LA is sponsored by Family and Consumer Sciences Programs, California Department of Education. We are passionate about this program because we are able to develop closer bonds with our students through various academy activities and field trips. Plus, we're able to develop cross-curricular collaboration with like-minded peers in a small, family-like atmosphere. I am here to talk about the engineering design pathway. In this pathway, we focus on building a problem-solving mindset and developing 21st century skills. Our goal is to get our students career or college ready. Our curriculum follows Project Lead the Way's engineering pathway, and in this pathway, students will learn concepts and skills in most engineering disciplines. The goal is to use those skills to innovate and create, and an example of this would be using mechanics to build a machine, electrical to incorporate power, and a computer to fully automate that machine. In building this program, we have made connections with local industries like Gallo, Bronco, Flory, and MID. Most of these places are looking for students with skills in 3D modeling and basics in programming. Most of us teaching in this pathway do it because it is unique to traditional classes in that it makes students competitive in today's job market, especially in Modesto. Um, manufacturing and warehouse, as we know, is growing in the valley, and um, all of those sectors are seeking skills that we build in this pathway. Within the fashion and interior design industry sector, we are pleased to offer the cosmetology pathway. Students who are accepted into the cosmetology program will work through the theory and lab hours to earn their license. After this year-long course, students will prepare to take the state boards. In order to offer this opportunity at each of our high schools, Modesto City Schools has partnered with Adrian's and California Beauty College. My name is Crystal Jackson and I was a student at Enox High School um, and I was a part of the Forensic Biotechnology program. I actually graduated in 2015 so it's been five almost six years now since I left the program and I left Enox. Um, so this career and technical education program, the Forensic Biotechnology program, has done amazing things for me. It's giving me skills that have lasted from the time I was in the program through now and I continue to look back on my experience in the program and really notice how much it's done for me. I learned things like pipetting early on, um, using analytical balances early on, a lot of different technology that I've used in my college level labs um, and beyond. I, I really have learned so much being a part of that lab, being a part of that program and 
when I went to the junior college and I wasn't really sure, you know, what I wanted to do, I knew I really did love science. I had a passion for science. And I think a lot of it had to do with my early exposure in that program. It really did give me a firm foundation in my passion for science. So I credit a lot of my basic science love and knowledge to the forensic biotechnology program and I couldn't be more thankful for all the transferable skills it's given me. Hi everybody, I'm Mark Viss and I'm the coordinator for the Health Careers Academy. Uh, the Health Careers Academy is a wonderful learning opportunity. Um, as part of the academy, students take their history, science, and English classes together uh, with a health focus, and those teachers work together on collaborative projects that emphasize health. And maybe more importantly for students interested in health careers, there's the medical science classes. They take their sophomore and junior year in which they learn all kinds of health skills, and they learn about health careers. And they're also exposed to uh, many guest speakers, uh, local health professionals who come into that class and speak. And those students are also CPR and first aid certified. Um, we have a capstone class the senior year, and that capstone class is either in medical careers or it's a certified nursing assistant program. And uh, these are both great and the best part about them is about uh, over 100 hours of um, job shadowing as a part of it. Um, as part of the academy, students uh, get to go on field trips to uh, colleges and um, health uh, centers around the area. Students also have access to uh, mentorships and many other exciting opportunities. Uh, students also uh, have access to community service opportunities and opportunities to lead. Uh, one of the ways uh, students can lead is through our club, uh, which is HOSA, the Health Occupation Students of America. And as part of HOSA, students can attend conferences, even earn some scholarships. Uh, but also what's very exciting is students learn about health careers and health skills, and they get to compete at those skills at the uh, regional and state levels. Hi, my name is Molly. I'm a senior in the Health Careers Academy, and I am also the president of our HOSA chapter. The Health Careers Academy has given me so many academic um, opportunities, whether it's special speakers, job shadowing, uh, special skills, CPR and first aid certification. They cover it all, and it's just a great program with a great curriculum and everything in between. Um, I genuinely don't know where I would be without the Health Careers Academy, and I'm just so thankful for this program. Hello, my name is Melanie Joseph, and I teach the medical science program here at Gregory High School. This program is designed for any student who is considering a future in medicine and would like to expose themselves to some of the realities and experiences of being in such a field. In our program here at Gregory, students will be exposed to medical terminology, anatomy, a variety of medical careers, hands-on training and experiences from guest speakers, and they'll also have the opportunity to gain experience off campus in the medical community. Additionally, after completing this program, they will earn their CPR and first aid certification. I have established relationships with many members of the medical community, and I am fortunate enough to have those members come into my classrooms and not only provide valuable knowledge about how they got to where they are and what they necessarily did, but they also bring in supplies and do activities with the students in order to give the students a hands-on experience that's connected to their specific career. So some of these individuals um, include first responders, chief medical officers of some of our local hospitals, dental hygienists, anesthesiologists, sports scientists, nurses, and so much more. My name is Ernesto Sanchez and I represent hospitality, tourism, and recreation, where our focus is on food service and hospitality. Culinary arts is where students will learn the basic fundamentals of food preparation and safety and sanitation. They will also become career-ready individuals. Career-ready individuals who practice enterprise awareness, team working, speaking and listening, problem solving, and self-management. In culinary arts, students have the opportunity to earn a California eFood Handlers Card certification. This is a standard for basic food preparation. We are currently partnered with Gallo Winery, G3, Cisco Foods, 
Hank Olsen at Food Fix, Ty Bowers at Bowers Downtown, Atisa Party Supply, and many other businesses here in town who offer internships and employment to our students. Students who join culinary arts have the opportunity to participate in the County Occupational Olympics. Join the Culinary Club and participate in many catering jobs. Here at Modesto City Schools, our goal is to build a culinary program all about high quality food production. We're interested in making food not only good enough to eat, but food good enough for people to pay for. The goal of the Software and Systems Development Pathway at Enox High School is to give a sense of the broad reach of computer science throughout all industry sectors, throughout the world, and to demystify computer science. Students will realize that computer science knowledge and skills will give them an edge in whatever industry they wish to pursue and that these skills are within their reach. Students of the four-year pathway will complete UC A through G approved courses while advancing skills, knowledge, and abilities in computer science and professional skills and certifications. The SSD pathway places an emphasis on equitable and hands-on learning and offers unique opportunities for students to interact with industry through field trips, speakers, mentors, job shadowing, and internships. Most importantly, the SSD pathway is adaptable to the ever-changing needs of the computing industry to ensure a quality, relevant, and equitable program for all students. The SSD pathway includes courses in Exploring Computer Science, AP Computer Science Principles, AP Computer Science A, Cybersecurity 1-2, Cybersecurity 3-4, Web Application Development, 3D Graphics and Animation, Video Game Design, and Artificial Intelligence. One of the greatest strengths of the SSD pathway is that students can pursue their own path through the courses. In this way, students can choose to explore different areas or specialize in any one area. The SSD Pathway is part of the CTE Information and Communications Technologies industry sector, which includes four pathways, Information Support and Services, Networking, Software and Systems Development, and Games and Simulation. Students in the Software and Systems Development Pathway prepare for careers in computer science that involve the design, development, implementation, maintenance, and management of systems that rely on software programs to satisfy the operational needs of modern business organizations. Information and communication technologies have expanded the need for employees who can understand, manage, and support all rapidly emerging, evolving, and converging computer, software, networking, telecommunications, internet, programming, and information systems. In the CTE Information and Communications Technologies industry sector, we also have pathways available at Bayer, Johansson, Davis, and Modesto High. These pathways provide students the opportunity to focus on learning technology, college and career planning, communication, and teamwork. Students follow a course of study throughout their time in high school as they prepare for their career. We offer certifications such as CompTIA's ITF+, A+, Network+, Security+, and Cisco's Certified Network Associate. We have a number of local long-time industry partners, including Jobs Available Inc. and Modesto that provide job shadowing, internships, mentorships, and career opportunities for our students. We continue to look for more opportunities to forge new industry partnerships in our community. We also offer a number of student organizations and clubs, including Skills USA, Student Leadership, Girls That Code, and Cyber Patriot. In these, students have an opportunity to put their skills to the test and compete nationally, take on a leadership role, plan activities, events, fundraisers, and field trips, and learn more about the broad field of computer science. I became a teacher so I can share my love and passion for technology with students. I love what I do as a career and hope my passion for what I teach helps give students the drive to prepare for a career in computer science. Hello, my name is Andrew Prezzoni. Um, I was going to say a little bit about my experience with computer science. The class is about having fun. It's not one of those a computer science classes that fits an A through G requirement because it does do that, but you get more than just filling that requirement. You get experiences, you get to meet new people, you get to learn a lot about these amazing machines. This course is life-changing. Like. I know it seems cliche and a little over dramatic, but it's true. Like I really do see like change. I've seen change in myself and my skills, my confidence with computers, helping out other people. I can already see like how it's benefited me so far. So if I've seen it this early, I know it will definitely help me in the future. This is the robotics program. At Bayer High School, we have three levels of classes and two levels of competitive teams. Robotics One uses Legos and prefabricated metal parts to design and build small robots. Students design and program those robots to meet increasingly more difficult challenges. The class final has the students create their own challenge. The focus is on learning Robot C programming. 
Robotics 2 has students building a large robot, two foot by three foot, and manufacturing the design components in the metal shop. The programming language used is Java, and the skills are focused on metal fabrication. Robotics 3 is focused on CAD and 3D printing. We have formed partnerships with UC Merced and UC Davis Robotics Departments. We also have mentors for our team representing Hogan Manufacturing, MID, 511 Tactical, and Gallo. We have had students from our program get internships at Gallo, Hogan Manufacturing, and 511. There are two levels of teams. FTC is the junior varsity level. They build a smaller robot and have two one-day competitions. It is a fall program and competitions end in December. Our FTC teams have won many awards and they've even won regional competitions. FRC is the varsity level competition and regionals are three day longs and have participants from many states and countries. This is a winter program. Our team has won many awards and progressed to world championships twice. I have seen the impact of this program not only on students, but also the community and our mentors. There is so much more to this program than can be said in a few words. There are several sub-teams and a place for every type of student. Hi, my name is Gracie and joining robotics is one of the best decisions I've ever made. I've learned invaluable lessons about engineering and designing principles, but the thing that robotics has really given me is a community of incredibly smart people that want to help me learn things that I'm actually interested in. My peers have given me the confidence to talk in front of others and take risks and speak out about my opinions, which is such an incredibly valuable lesson that I'll use for the rest of my life. My name is Steph Sergeant Retired Tony McBride, Army Instructor at Fred Byer High School. The Senior Instructor is Major Sharma. We are happy to bring JRC to the Modesto City Schools. What will a student learn from JRTC? A student will learn to cultivate skills that position them for better success inside and outside the classroom. It prepares them for academic and career success. JRTC teaches skills that colleges employ and employees want, but aren't typically taught in a high school classroom. JRTC's mission statement, motivating young people to become better citizens. Also, JRTC students can earn between 16 and 21 college credits at CSU or the University of California. We are currently working on PE credits for the program. Our community partners are with the police department, the fire department, and the mayor's office and other entities in the community, such as the VFW and American Legion. Some of the student organizations within the program that are competitive are robotics program, the color guard competitions, drill competitions, and fitness team competitions. And we also have archery. I am passionate about JRTC because I like seeing the outcome of a student after four years of being in the program. Here's a brief overview of our marketing, sales, and service industry sector. Currently, we offer a professional sales pathway, and this pathway provides students with career readiness skills through simulated experiences for entry into careers in retail sales and or marketing. It also provides students with a good foundation for advanced studies at an institution of higher education or training. We have formed community partnerships with the local Institute of Technology here in Salida, Solid Networks, and Zentiv Agency for Marketing. Students can earn certifications in professional communications, social media marketing, and express employment professionals career preparedness. I love teaching marketing, sales, and entrepreneurship just because uh, it's really grown on me over the years. And it's always sparked my curiosity as uh, when I was younger. And it has literally become a goal of mine to become uh, a, a serial entrepreneur. So the benefit of being in this industry sector is that all industry sectors include entrepreneurship and marketing in some way. 
Therefore, students in the marketing sales and service sector have a wide variety of career options that they can further pursue after high school. Hello, we welcome you to Davis High School in our Public Safety Academy. Here at Davis High, you can follow a career pathway in the field of fire science, criminal justice, or first responders. It is our mission to provide a hands-on environment and a dynamic technology-driven curriculum which will help students prepare for a career success. Outside of the classroom environment, the PSA Academy partners with both the public and private sectors, giving students a clear pathway into a lifelong career. The Public Safety Academy currently partners with multiple hands-on explorer programs within Stanislaus County and also partners with local businesses such as E&J Gallo. The Davis High Public Safety Academy is proud of its alumni with over 20 former students currently working for Stanislaus County Public Service Agencies. We are also proud of two former alums who are current lawyers and one recently arguing a case before a California appellate court. Some of our former students have pursued a career in the military with some working as military police and security in the Army, Navy, Air Force, Marines, and in the newly formed Space Force. So, if you want a career in public safety, Davis High School is the place to be. Hello, my name is Kent Hammers, and I would like to talk to you about automotive technology. The three courses that we have in the district are part of the transportation sector. The focus is to give students an opportunity to develop the entry-level skills that they will need as they move forward out of high school. Many students are taking these courses as electives, and these courses are now part of the G requirement for the UC system. So these students can take a basic course as this in automotive technology. This program is for exploratory and or entry-level students who plan to go on to automotive repair industry and it is a study of the fundamentals in theory and operation of the major parts of the automobile with a directed toward giving the students a general knowledge of the automobile. As they work through these experiences and learn about the systems of the car, they have opportunities to be part of a club on campus and also to play with things, play with engines, make engines run, tune them up, do fun things, hands-on. One of the popular projects has been building a derby car and watching the demolition derby and seeing the car get smashed up. As a teacher, I enjoy watching the students work with their hands and construct these projects, repair these problems as they learn skills that can help them in the future. The purpose of the Work Experience Program is to link school with the world of work and to promote employment success personal growth, and help students prepare for future careers. The student's job, whether at McDonald's or Starbucks, serves as a community classroom in which students can develop a positive work ethic and develop important employability skills. In order to qualify for the Work Experience Program, a student must be a junior or senior and have secured their own job prior to enrollment. Their employer must provide workers' compensation insurance, maintain accurate payroll records, pay at least minimum wage, and provide a safe working environment. In addition to learning in the workplace, work-related classroom instruction occurs each week in a class setting. Topics such as labor laws, job safety, working with others, and other employability skills are covered during these class meetings. Each quarter, the work experience instructor will conduct worksite visitations. This gives the instructor an opportunity to speak with supervisors about the student's work progress and performance. In addition, a written evaluation will be completed each quarter by the student's immediate supervisor. Students usually join work experience so they can work more hours. A student with a work experience work permit can work up to 40 hours per week, while a student with a regular work permit can only work 20. In addition, Students can earn up to 10 elective credits each semester. 
If on track to graduate, a senior can replace up to two elective classes on their schedule with work experience. A junior can replace one class. With this shorter school day, students have more time for schoolwork and have more work availability. To learn more about the Work Experience Program, contact your school's Work Experience Coordinator.